The Briefless Barrister, a Ballad, by John Godfrey Sachs, read for LibriVox.org by Lucy Perry. An attorney was taking a turn in shabby habiliments dressed. His coat it was shockingly worn, and the rust had invested his vest. His breeches had suffered a breach. His linen and worsted were worse. He had scarce a whole crown in his hat, and not half a crown in his purse. And thus as he wandered along, a cheerless and comfortless elf, he sought for relief in a song, or complainingly talked to himself. "'Unfortunate man that I am! I've never a client but grief. The case is I've no case at all, and in brief I've ne'er had a brief. I've waited and waited in vain, expecting an opening to find, where an honest young lawyer might gain some reward for toil of his mind. "'Tis not that I'm wanting in law, or lack an intelligent face. The others have cases to plead, while I have to plead for a case. Oh, how can a modest young man e'er hope for the smallest progression? The profession's already so full, of lawyers so full of profession. While thus he was strolling around, his eye accidentally fell, on a very deep hole in the ground, and he sighed to himself, It is well. To curb his emotions he sat, on the curbstone the space of a minute, then cried, Here's an opening at last, and in less than a jiffy was in it. Next morning twelve citizens came, twas the coroner bade them attend, to the end that it might be determined how the man had determined his end. The man was a lawyer, I hear, quoth the foreman who sat on the course. A lawyer? Alas! said another, undoubtedly died of remorse. A third said, he knew the deceased, an attorney well versed in the laws, and as to the cause of his death, twas no doubt for want of a cause. The jury decided at length, after solemnly weighing the matter, that the lawyer was drowned because he could not keep his head above water. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.